Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will work on this design right here. This is the fifth design in this course. So we start by creating a new page with the same settings we used for all the former designs. Then we drag the color boxes, we put them right here. And we select the ellipse tool. We hold the shift button, then we draw a circle right here. We hold the shift button to make sure that the circle is symmetrical. Now we paint the circle with this color. Then we adjust the size of the circle without holding the shift button to make it oval like this. I zoom in a little bit after I change the color of the shape. I draw a circle in here using the ellipse tool. Sorry, I need to draw it back again. I hold the shift button to make sure that the circle is symmetrical. Now I drag the circle and I put it right here. Then I hold the alt button and I drag it to duplicate it like this. Perfect. I need to adjust the size of the circle first. Just a little bit. Perfect. Then I hold the Alt button and I duplicate it like this. Now I select the pen tool. I place the first dot in here. The second one in here I click and drag to connect the two circles with this line like this. Then I keep going like this. This. That's perfect. Now this shape looks better than the first one. It does not matter the shape right now because we will fix it during this video. Now I adjust it like this. I'm more interested in the lower part than the, the upper part of the shape. That's better. Just a little bit of adjustments in the size of this circle. I adjust it a little bit like this. As I said, the shape will be adjusted during this course or during this video, sorry. I zoom in a little bit and I select the curvature tool again to keep adjusting the shape. As I said, I'm more interested in the lower part of the shape to make it perfect. Now I select this shape like this. I click on Control Alt to select all the shapes. Then I go to Window, Pathfinder, and I merge all the shapes together like this. Now we change the color of the shape. I copy this color. I select the shape. Then I use the eyedropper tool to copy the color like this. Perfect. I zoom in a little bit. There is still some adjustments that needs to be done. Just a little bit. Bear with me for a second. Perfect. Now we start drawing the hair. Of the character so we select the pen tool we place a dot in here first I need to zoom to work properly now I place the first dot right here 
another one in here I click and drag like this I go back to the last dot I click and drag like this go back to the last dot place the next one right here I click and drag like this I go back to the last dot I place the next one here I click and drag and so on you get the idea so I keep going like this then I go back here I click and drag like this I go all the way up here then another one first I need to go back to the last dot then I draw the next one right here and I reconnect the last dot with the first one perfect just a little bit of adjustments with the curvature tool now I change the color I use the eyedropper tool perfect now I select the curvature tool and I start adjusting the shape like this as I said the shape will be adjusted further in the video now it's time to adjust the shape keep going like this perfect perfect this is our logo design so far I zoom in a little bit and I need to delete this leftover right here so I use the curvature tool and I select I click delete from the keyboard to delete that leftover dot perfect just a little bit of adjustment in here Perfect. So this is our logo design so far. I'm gonna change this color to this one like this to make the hair color a little bit darker. I zoom in a little bit and I adjust the shape even more like this. As you can see when I'm adjusting shapes I do that spontaneously. I may adjust the shape, it looks perfect, it takes a minute or two to take another look at it and you may want to change it even more. So that's what happens right here. I take a look at the shape, I see that it needs a little bit more adjustments and I do that to see. It depends on your vision and I recommend that you can be as creative as you can just go spontaneously and take a look try different things and different looks for your shapes and designs now we adjust the hair we select the pin tool I draw like this I keep going like this sorry I need to go back in case you made a mistake you can go back by clicking delete from the keyboard then selecting the last dot you are working with perfect and always connect the last dot with the first one now we make this hair with the same color perfect 